Hey, I'm Caleb with Main Switch Shop, and welcome to the first episode for Season 2. We're going to start with an aromatic red cedar plastic bag recycling box. It's got a hole in the top. Reuse it. This is easy, and it's fun, so let's check it out. Hey, I'm Caleb with Main Switch Shop. Aromatic red cedar. Very fancy. Bedroom stand. I'm starting by cutting the fronts and the back. I'm going to need four pieces for that, and I'm cutting them out at 11 inches long. I'm going to glue up these panels, the front and the back, and I'm going to glue them up at the same time and just won't glue here so I don't accidentally glue my front and back together. Calls a process to help keep this thing flat. I glued my panels after letting them sit a couple hours, and they're looking pretty good. They just need this glue sanded off of them. So I've got my crosscut sled set up, and I'm going to trim up one edge flat and do the other edge at an angle. And I'm going to just shave off a little bit from the back and then a little bit more off the front. The deets will become clear. Scary stuff. And now I've got my saw set up at an angle so I can make the sides. These damn sides cut out. Cut it out a little oversized. I want the top to stick off a little bit. And before I actually assemble anything, I've got these four snare bits. One is a little bit larger than the other. I'm gonna use the larger one to put a hole here where you'll take bags out. And then the smaller one, I'll put a hole, the lid, so you put the bags in. This isn't like rocket science, man. That is just a dead burn. Fucking hole. The force on bit seemed like it's being ineffective. A little cedar circle. I got a little bit stumped at how I'm actually gonna assemble this glue. And what's funny is I got Hall and Oates stuck in my head by trying to get it stuck in Adam's head. So I will put the side on because I'm gonna tack it in place. Just maybe like two of these little brads. Okay, I'm gonna work on this. It's scary. To mount this, I'm gonna use a French cleat. Now one final sanding, and then I can do a finish on this. A little bit of Danish oil. I would like to use spray lacquer on this, but it's been raining really bad, and it's hot here too. Heat, humidity, and spray lacquer does not go well together. It leads to a really cloudy finish. So now with the French cleat up here on the wall, you simply take it and it slides right on like that. And if you can find this anywhere, I recommend working with that wood because it smells really good looks better than it smells. All the red cedar I've got right now that I've been working with came from a closet lining pack. I got it, I picked it up at Lowe's for like 27 bucks and it's all tongue and groove and I ripped all the tongue and groove slots off of the wood to make them just little planks. The only way I could get lumber like this is an hour out of town that way or an hour out of town that way. 
If you enjoyed this project and this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel too, because I'm going to be doing more stuff like this, and I'm going to be trying to work in more fun and more big projects as we go along. And You're going to want to subscribe if you want to see what those are. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.